Well, well, how are you? I'm grand. I'm waiting for people to join here. It's my first time um, doing this. Mm, that's good. It's so, good. Uh, it's the first time to use Zoom, is it? No, 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 no. The first uh, coffee break. Um, oh, well, okay. We, sure. we kind of accidentally had one the other day. And um, and then I was chatting to a few people and we said, oh, this is a great idea. And I said, okay, so I'm going to create the uh, the online coffee break. So, so here we are. And the only thing I'm missing is a cup in my hand. I must go and make one. <laughs> but um, yeah, how are you keeping? I'm good. I'm good now. I'm good. Actually, I was doing uh, a number of Zooms this week, which was was really good. And um it's a it's a great it's a, it's a great application actually because I was um uh I was testing um YouTube Live there yesterday um with a client and um he was dead keen on using YouTube Live which to be honest I tested YouTube Live for myself probably a couple of months uh, maybe I don't know maybe two months ago yeah. and, um uh I guess I think the thing for me and uh is that zoom is just so reliable like the difference between yesterday when we tested youtube live and when we tested zoom zoom was so like uh clear um the quality there was no delay youtube the quality was low the delay it was probably a five minutes delay um you know but in saying that i still think that uh, uh if it wasn't youtube live up enough again it would be, be very handy Just switching microphones here, actually. Your sound has dipped. Is that me or you? Oh, it's probably me. Sorry, I have you on a big fluffy cushion. <laughs> actually, I, I really like your backdrop there. What are you using for that? Uh, it's a chair. Oh, it's brilliant. Yeah, um, we got a new chair. It's, it's an egg chair. It's, it's actually a really, really good uh, backdrop for your videos. I guess, yeah. It, it, it yeah. is absolutely, it, it is brilliant. It is brilliant now. It's really, yeah. Um, yeah. I, 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 I think that is a really brilliant business environment. Just your dress and that back drop is, yeah. is, is, is really powerful now. Yeah, it's, um, this is my hot seat. Um, this is the hot seat that, because uh, um, when, when we were saying we were going to get it and, um, and I said, I'm going to do my, um, my, like three hot seats in this you know but um but anyways uh what was going to say to you um, how is the voice quality on my side yeah it's good, it's good. are you using your new mic well, I, I, yeah i used i i used um the atr 2100 there in the last in the, just in what i was doing um during the week but just i'm on the blue yeti there now oh very good that's the big one Oh yeah, very good. Yeah, I was going to buy like like what I was saying to yesterday. I was going to buy one, um, because I saw one. Um, I saw one in uh, I saw one in in Maplin, and I said I must go online and just um, get it. But um, yeah, I think I'm just uh, yeah. I like it. My sound is all right with this, is it? Oh yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah. You're 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 talking straight into the computer, yeah. Yeah, yeah, literally, and uh, from the chair and. Uh, just um there's, there's the odd time it's like this it's almost the sun comes in so just there is a perfect backdrop yeah, I, can, I can see like if i touch this there it's like yeah <laughs> oh i just have to keep keep so, have my legs up have my legs up and just chillax them for the for the online coffee break um but yeah, yeah so um i'm gonna try and do this um a little bit more regularly and um but, uh, yeah it's just a nice kind of do you know what we were just saying that basically um i was doing a free training the other day and then we got talking um i had, I had sent out the wrong link actually by accident so only a handful turned up for the free training and um and uh what was i going to say to you um yeah, so then we just started talking about business online and tools. And we said, uh, you know, isn't it a really nice thing to do? Um, oh, well, hey, Emma. Emma's joined us. Yay. <laughs> um, so we we're just saying, isn't it a really nice thing to do to um, just come on and just chat about business online? So here we are. 
It's loud. It's excellent. Yeah. It's excellent. How, are you, how are you doing, Emma? Can you hear me? I don't know if she can hear. Maybe she's feeling. What, what, what are you paying for Zoom um, at the moment? Um... I can hear you. Can you hear me? Oh, I can hear you now. You know, sorry, your 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 video is frozen. Though. Uh, Martha. Yeah. Sorry, I can hear you now. I was just wondering what what um, okay. um, Zoom subscription have you at the moment? Um, I have the. Uh, I use it for my um, group calls, so I'm paying fourteen ninety nine. I'm paying the lower price. I haven't upgraded. Um, That's probably all you need, isn't it? It is. You know, the thing is as well. Like, I mean, what I have done um, for my webinars was. Uh, that's why I'm looking at YouTube again. What I did for my webinars was I used um, Google Hangouts, um, and I embedded it into a lead page. Um, but uh, what was it like? I I I used GoToWebinar for two years. I paid I paid for it for two years, and then like recently I did Google Hangouts and I embedded it into a lead page, and it was great. It, yeah, for free. For free. Yeah. Yeah, free, yeah. like and um i just kind of i i wanted to try it um because i see a lot um, well, youtube live is 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 i see i see um some organizations using it now full time and i still um you know it's like all technology you know zoom is solid for the last several years now so it's worth using something that's already that won't just fall down yeah, like what I said to my client the other day, like um, I said, look, you know, the type of deal that he's doing with the type of people he's doing. I said, YouTube is great, like for a free webinar or something like that. But, you know, for the sake of fourteen ninety nine, just buy it. You know, um, it's so cheap, you know, and it's it's a brilliant application. I love it, you know. But um, how are you, Emma? I'm okay. Great to right. see you. I haven't seen you in ages. ages. I'm out in the wild, the Connemara, in a studio. Are you? Mm. What, what are you up to? Well, so remember the job I turned down? Yes. I'm now doing it. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Very good. Very good. And um, it's with TG Carr, is it? No, it's with Studio. It's Telegale. Oh, I don't know them now. Telegale is a, is a separate from TG Carr. Oh, right, okay. Oh, you're with the opposition. You're with the opposition. <laughs> I know, but I'm learning a lot, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. And tell me, um, how is your business going at the moment? Are you, um, any tips or things you, any online stuff you'd like to talk about? No, like we use a lot of Zoom here, actually, for our calls. Do you? Uh, yeah, because it's an international co-production. So, uh, but we, we use a free version that's just, on, you know, for the hour and then, then it, there's time. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, to be honest, right, that's an amazing offer as well for people who want to use it and don't want to actually pay a bill, you know. Um, and one thing, you know, that uh, like I just, uh, when I was doing my accounts there recently, um, just my accounts there last Friday, and I just reviewed my credit card bill and I was like, you know, I am a devil for signing up for things, a friggin' devil. So I just, I, I must, I took a snapshot actually, I must share it with you um, of everything that I was paying per month. And I was there going, I don't really need that. I don't really need that. Do you know? And um, like, I have got much better at it, but when I first started, um, I was paying for, I suppose to be honest, it's like toys. Software applications are like toys to me. I like to play with them and figure them out, you know. So what's, what's the core things you use for yourself, um, Emma? The core ones is, well, is it, on, online would be just like Facebook, uh, Twitter, Zoom, and my website. That's really it. Like I haven't, yeah. I'm really scared to go into lead pages and all this stuff. I, I'm, I want to like, that's my next thing now is to go in there and see how all that works. And yeah. well, to be honest, I love lead pages, right? But, um, like I do a lot of, um, lead pages, um, and I've done uh, a few good, 
a few good ones recently. Um, but what I would say to people is that if the budget isn't there, you can create a really good sales page on your website. Um, you know, um, and I've, I've done that for people just, um, you know, just, it, it's about getting the copyright, about getting the images right and getting the sign up process right. Um, now in saying that the reason I love lead pages is because it saves you so much time. Um, I, I think it's almost a must when you're starting out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, to be honest, yeah, there's some people though, James, who really just don't have the budget. Yeah. 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 And for but it, 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 it's almost more important than a website. Okay. Mm. Like, like, like it, it depends on how you're promoting things, but it's yeah. it is so powerful in just putting putting everything in one place for whatever your offer is. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree with that. I do agree with that. But I know, like, I've had people who literally just do not yeah. have thirty five yeah. euro in the month. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so, uh, yeah. To be honest, and, and the thing is as well, recently I've had. Um, I moved away from, oh, Maura is here and she says she's no microphone. Okay, Maura, uh, listen in anyway. If you have any questions, just uh, chat in the box there. Um, yeah, and I actually moved, I had a really frustrating thing there recently. And actually, this is a good conversation topic to have, right? Because, um, sorry, that sun is coming in again. Um, yeah, now you're uh, <laughs> just, just stay here, don't move. But, um yeah, so basically I started using Thrive Themes, right, for my website. And um, it, uh, I ran into a big issue there this week. I couldn't add any images to my website. And I was so pissed off. I put in a support thing and basically they said it came down to the control with my domain hosting that I needed to, to contact them. Like, and this was during the week when I was decided to do my Black Friday offer and I needed to create a page. Actually, what, what, what did you use that? Because the Black Friday offer looked really good. Really. My talent. <laughs> was, 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 was that a team or was that a lead page? It, it was a lead page, but I created it. Um, the template really was my own, to be honest. Uh, okay. But... But yeah, so um, what was going to say, um, but I had still, I was still paying my subscription to lead pages. So I was so grateful. I literally just jumped. I, I wrote a, a reply to like a Thrive team sent me a response. Can we resolve this? And I said, no, we cannot resolve this. I still can't freaking update my website. I was so pissed off. Um, so I literally jumped onto lead pages, created my lead page for the Black Friday offer and um just got it done but what a conversation i'm having with another colleague um recently is about um the whole thing about wordpress and a squarespace or other mm. other ones like squarespace right and it's an interesting um one of the girls in the online stars she um she commented recently and she she worded it fantastically it's like oh it's like owning your house or leasing your house or leasing a car or whatever um and after having this experience this week with thrive themes um i'm really considering looking at that type of a model because for the solopreneur who doesn't want to be updating wordpress who doesn't want to be updating um security plugins um who you know you either have the model that you pay someone um who is very skilled and talented to do your website and get them to maintain it because I think in this day and age with so many um, hacks and whatever, you have to pay to get your, your website um, secured and maintained, unless you're going to do it yourself, right? But, um, but yeah, I'd love to hear your comments on the, the likes of Squarespace. Where does it fit for you in the world of websites? What do you think, James? I have no experience myself of Squarespace. There are influencers that I follow online and they... They're like yourself, they're starting to move more and more towards um, something that is plug and play, something that you can actually set up quite quickly. And really, it depends on what you want from a website, but if, if it's something quite simple, I think the, the Squarespace or is it the, the Wix option, I think, is, is another one I see out there. Squarespace, there's Wix, there's Weebly. Um, and there's yeah. 
I set I set up a website last year for uh, my husband John on Weebly. Really, really easily. I had an e-commerce website set up in like forty minutes for him. Um, now, you know what? It was actually fine because it was a whim that he was working on. So it was great. It wasn't a big investment. Um, but I, I'm kind of. Do you know the way the Irish mind is like? You have to own your house. Yeah. Uh, I was like that with my website, right? I wanted full ownership. I want to have everything in my control. I suppose the thing is that, now I did test out, before I moved over to Thrive Teams there this year, um, I did test out um, Squarespace. Now, initially when I went in, I didn't like the lack of control that you couldn't add different things, but I was looking up there recently. I, I probably didn't play with it enough um, because they were saying you can you can add in more stuff but um, uh, yeah, I, I, I think the big question for me going forward for next year is do I stick with lead pages or do I switch to click funnels? Because that's something that I see used a lot. And I, I'm happy with lead pages at the moment, it's good. And I probably won't switch right now, although I just see a lot of people in my circle and they're it seems to be getting great um, results with it. I'm a big, big fan of um, Russell Brunson. Um, the, founder of ClickFunnels. I think he's brilliant. I love him. Um, I did look at it last year. The, I suppose the only thing for me is that because ClickFunnels is um, your whole sales funnel um, yeah. and it's your membership site, you're locked in with the membership site. That would be the only thing for me. Um, but then again, that's a benefit. That's how probably the whole functionality works well together. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. So I, I'm not so sure. What's your word? What's your website, um, Emma? It's word. And how how do you find it? I'm having trouble at the moment because, like, I want I I can't change because the theme. I can't change certain things on the theme. I just haven't figured it out yet. So it's a bit annoying that way. So it's not finished. Would you ever think of um, Squarespace or anything like that? Or I have I have used Wix in the past. Mm. And it's great, and it's in, like I like a lot of control over it. Yeah, yeah. You're so, <laughs> you want to be able to play. Yeah. And I didn't first space as easy as Wix to navigate and to mm. to user friendly. Do you know that kind of way? Yeah. To be honest, it's so long ago since I tested, it, but I do remember my frustration when I was testing it, and I just closed it down and said, "No, I'm not using that." Um, mm. But I'm I'm kind of willing. Uh, what I'm going to do now is just go and play with a few of them and just um, maybe do a reassessment of it and just see um, what comes of it. Um, like I mean, what I yeah, I mean, I might just bite the bullet and get someone to do my website properly. But I I think I just like playing with them too much to be honest. <laughs> but and the th the other thing as well, like I mean, I see so many people like depending on your website. You know, I mean, and this is what I did last year, actually. I just created a lead page and I, I pushed it to the front to the home page, you know. Mm. And, like, that is so easy to do as well, you know. And you can you can collect your opt-in, put in your offer. Um, you could create a really simple one-page um, homepage, you know. But, but that's, uh, that's where I almost think that starting with, with uh, lead pages might be a way to go for people starting business now rather than their website. Yeah, like, I mean, it's um, it's kind of like, you know, when you're starting off and you can't afford anything else and you, you do a Facebook page. Um, yeah. You know, if you can't... Actually, that's the place to start, a Facebook yeah, page. That is the, well, do you know what? It was the place to start. I, I, I kind of feel a lot of people are moving away from Facebook. Do you know that? I just... Um, I think Facebook ads will always be good, but I think they need to really revise their algorithm um, if they want to stay as one of the top profiles, you know, just yeah. my gut instinct on that. Um, like when I see Instagram, um, Instagram is just so powerful and, um, you know, people aren't really using hashtags on Facebook as, as a re tool, I don't think, do you know? 
the regular Joe Soap isn't using hashtags. But um, but anyways, yeah, so that's that's it anyway for today. I think we'll leave it there. It was lovely to come in and have a natter <laughs> and have yeah. a break. Next time I'm definitely gonna have my cup of coffee on my hand. I was I was rushing. I said, Jesus, open that laptop quick, I'll be late. <laughs> Good to meet you, Emma, as well. I don't think we've met before, so it's good to... You were talking at Martha's event, weren't you, James? Yes, actually, yes, I was, yeah. And in the, I think we're on in maybe second or third, Martha, was it? Uh, yeah, Emma did the video of the event. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Emma from Baby Jane Productions. Uh, wow. Giving uh, you a shout out, Emma. <laughs> Wow, that was that was fantastic. Yeah. Oh my. It was it was an incredible event for I think for everybody in the room on all levels. Yeah, I know it was great. I really, really enjoyed it. Um and um so we might as well give everyone a plug today. So we have James Martin come on down from Team Life Performance Coaching. Uh what's your website, James? Uh teamlifetraining.com. Well it's not it's, I, I still have to get it fixed up. So. Okay, well, you can just contact James. James does incredible coaching. He's like, oh my God, he's like the guru. He's like the silent. He's like, no, hang on. Now. He's like the. Um, Martha, stop it, stop it, stop it. No, stop I have to it up because, um, do you know, you're really, um, yeah, you need, as I said to you, you need to start blowing your trumpet about what a great coach you are. Um, there's a word I'm looking for that I can't think of. Um, yeah, you're the humble coach that doesn't brag about yourself. Um, and Emma is from BBJ and Productions, and Maura is who we can't see, who is hiding, um, is from uh, Cotton On, which is amazing baby products. Um, Cotton On. Ie. Dot Ie. Dot com. Or uh, maybe let me know. And uh, she has a Black Friday offer on today. And actually, uh, anyone else who's interested in my Black Friday offers, you can go to Online Stars and check out the link. Oh, here, dot .ie, she says. <laughs> dot .ie, cotton on, dot .ie for gorgeous baby gifts. So that's it, folks. I'm going to put this is going on YouTube uh, for the online coffee break. So I will talk to you um, probably next week. I'll put it in. And it's just nice to take a break and come on and have a chat. Yay, thanks a million. Bye. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.